hi everyone welcome back to the channel this is prophetess nikki with another video for you today i want to thank each and every one of you for your continued support and what god is truly doing through our channel here i am so grateful to have all of your prayers thank you for taking the time people of god to like and share these videos i am so grateful to god for each and every one of you thank you for all of your positive words of inspiration Thank you for all of your donations. I love each and every one of you. I am standing in agreement with you. I love you. If you tuned into our channel and you are not subscribed, we would love to have you a part of our family here. So tap that notification bell. I pray that God's face will always shine upon each and every one of you. May the Lord continue to bless you and prosper you in every area of your life. Listen, people of God, you have been in a season of testing and waiting. Glory to God. You have endured a season of testing and waiting. Glory to God. And you have been in this season. Glory be to God because you are going to get exactly what you have been praying and believing God for. There is no if, ands, or but about it, people of God. You have been in a season of testing and waiting to get exactly what you have been believing your God for. Glory to God. There have been some superficial people that have been in your life and who has surrounded your life. Glory to God. These superficial people that were in your life are getting ready to receive a tsunami of burdens and regret and karma for all the negative and un undermining things that these people have done to you, people of God. And some of you may be wondering, glory to God, if you have been wondering and asking yourself why so much betrayal why so much hardship why so much loneliness why so much waiting and pain and suffering that has visited your life glory to God it is because you have been in a season of testing and waiting lessons had to be learned for you people of God you have learned these lessons so God's gift glory to God listen lessons had to be learned so God gives us with a series of trials and tribulations to measure our faith. Your faith has to be tested. Glory be to God. And God has to make sure it is where it needs to be. You live by faith. Not by what you can see in this physical world. You live by what you cannot see, people of God. If you can see it, it's not your faith. Glory to God. Continue to speak the word of God over your life, over your situation, and it is going to pass. Hallelujah. There are blessings that have been stored up for you. You have not lost one blessing, not one promise. These blessings have been stored up for you. Did you know that you challenge and you intimidate people who lack growth? A lot of you are getting a lot of warfare because you are growing. You are leveling up in your life and you are challenging and you are intimidating people who lack growth. Hallelujah. That is why they criticize your people of God. And this is why people try to minimize any good thing that God does in your life. People are trying to just to minimize the good things that God is doing in your life. Close your ears to it. Glory to God. Your level of spiritual maturity is being attested along with your faith today. I want you to know that the blessing that's getting ready to hit your house is going to attract opposition and haters. It is supposed to. Glory to God. The blessing that God is getting ready to hit your house, it is going to attract opposition. It is going to attract haters. Glory to God. You have to be able to take a lick at people of God and keep right on ticking because God is going to allow you to live your best life right in the face of every Pharaoh. That's right. God is going to allow you to live a glorious, a blessed, prosperous life right in the face of every Pharaoh that doubted you. Glory to God that mocked you, made fun of you. Every Herod is going to see this good life that you shall live. Every Judas, glory to God, and every Haman is going to see you live your best life. Glory to God. God is going to shut the mouths of your enemies today. Glory be to God. He's going to bless you real good. Some of you have called these people your family. 
but all these people were to you was a bunch of jealous and envious wolves wearing sheep clothing. Glory to God. But since you have obeyed the Holy Spirit and released these fake and phony and low vibrational people, glory to God, these were fake people. They were phony people. They were low vibrational vipers in your life. Your life is going to prosper now. Glory to God because you have released these people and now God is going to prosper you. God is not going to sit by and allow the enemy, glory be to God, to drain you out of everything that you had. Some of these people intentionally came into your life to drain you down to nothing. Glory be to God, but you have God on your side. And when God is for you, who can be against you, people of God? I want you to always remember this. Blood does not make you family, people of God. Blood does not make you family. Glory to God. The genuine love that we have for one another makes you family. Hallelujah. Blood makes you a relative, not family. Hallelujah. The love that we have for one another makes us real, genuine family. Hallelujah. Love, people of God. Love. Love makes you family. Glory to God. God has allowed these superficial people who have appeared to be real and they were not. He's allowed these superficial people who appear to be real, glory be to God, until you spiritually examine these people to leave your life. These people have been found out, glory to God, and they know it. People now know, these people who tried to deceive you, people of God, these people that had no genuine love for you, now these people have had an aha moment. They've had an epiphany, people of God. Now they realize that you know who they really are. They are. These people are embarrassed to face you. They are ashamed to face you, people of God. God has allowed these people to leave your life to give you the beginning that you have been asking God for. You have asked God for a do-over. You have asked your father for a new beginning in your life. You have asked God to restore all things that have been taken from you. Now God is going to do it. God was waiting until these people exited your life. Hallelujah. Now that they have walked out the door, glory be to God, seal the door shut. Glory be to God. These people are going to have so much bad karma, people of God. These people, hallelujah, that stole from you, that took from you. Oh, glory be to God. They scandalized your name. They had people thinking that you had lost your mind. They made up all kind of nasty things about your glory be to God. And they were the true villain. They were the true enemy, but their sins will surely find them out. Glory to God. They are going to receive a tsunami of bad karma. They are going to receive a tsunami of burden and regret because they now know for real that they have lost the best thing that God has ever given them. You are the greatest gift that God has given these people, but now they have realized it too late. Pray for these people walk in forgiveness stay humble glory be to God and enjoy the blessings that God is getting ready to pour into your life because you have endured a season of trials and testing and waiting and the reason why you had to go through it for so long because God is getting that good blessing ready for you you are going to get exactly what you have been believing God for and one thing about God he gives you more than what you ask for glory be to God he's going to give you more good glory to God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I love each and every one of you. God bless you. Hang in there. I receive all of your prayer requests and your emails. Glory be to God. Just continue to pray and press on to see what the end is going to be because God truly has great things for you. Glory be to God. When God lifts you up, people of God, in the land, glory be to God, that flows with milk and honey. Stay humble. Glory be to God. Don't allow pride to enter 
enter in your life because these same people God is going to put right in your path to test you to see how you would treat them when they are hungry glory to God you feed your enemy glory be to God when they are thirsty you give them water and you send them on their way glory to God you are the 67th epistle of the word of God and don't you ever forget it you are blessed and you are truly highly favored of the Lord I love you until next time God bless you